Hello everyone, Dokiller here, coming to you from good old Minecraft 1.12 with a recent test build of the Dalek Mod Update 47. And in today's video, I'm going to be explaining a new command feature that you can use with the Dalek Mod. Well, actually, it's not new. It's something that you could use with the Dalek Mod a long time ago, then you couldn't use it anymore, and now you can use it again. So I want to make this video just to inform you of that. It's going to be a very brief video, and at the end of it, I am going to be explaining a few things about why I haven't been uploading videos recently and some plans for the channel and that. So be sure to stick around for that as well. So to get started, this command that I want to show off is the Entity Data command. And in some of my past videos, if you remember them, they're older videos made quite a while ago, I actually use the Entity Data command in some of them to edit Daleks and entities and Dalek statues and things like that. And then I made a video to explain why that command was no longer working and to explain that you could no longer use the Entity Data command with all of that. Well, finally the day has come where we can use the Entity Data command and the Dalek mod once again. So this is the... I want to just explain this and show this off in this video really quick. And the reason for this um, is that in Update 40, this was the two um, three-year anniversary update, when the mod was added, updated to 1.8, so quite a while ago, a naming change was made with Dalek Mod Mobs. And this changed the name of Dalek Mod Mobs to the Dalek Mod dot... the mob name, so dot DM Dalek Base or dot Dalek Mod dot Cyberman or something like that. And it was this period, or this dot, that was actually throwing off the command and made it impossible to target Dalek Mod Mobs directly with the Entity Data command, and this kind of drove me crazy for a while because there were so many command things that I couldn't do with it. Well, finally, we can once again use the Entity Data command on the Dalek Mod Mobs because that dot is no longer in the Entity's ID and we no longer need to use it to target a Dalek Mod Mob. That has finally been removed as of the 1.12 update of the Dalek Mod as of update 47. So thank you Sub or whoever took that out because we can finally use the Entity Data command again. So enough of this technical explanations, let's get right into the command. So let me summon in a Dalek. Hello Mr. Dalek, I'm going to be performing some tests on you. Now we are going to run the Entity Data command, it is slash Entity Data of course. Put in a space, say at E, open and close some square brackets in inside of these, say type, equals the Dalek mod, all lowercase, colon, Dalek. Notice there's no period, there's no dot, there's nothing in there to throw us off. Now let's add in a little bit of a radius, say two or three blocks. We don't want to target every single Dalek in the world, so we're only going to target Daleks within, say, three blocks around us. Add a space after that last square bracket, open and close some curly brackets, and inside here all we need now is a data tag with which to edit the Dalek. So let's use the silent tab, if I can sp spell that. So silent, colon, one. Let's hit enter, and you'll see that... Let's... Come on, Dalek, get back here. Don't run away. He's running away again. So let's get within three blocks of the Dalek, because that's where we set our radius. Run the command, and now our Dalek should not make a single noise. Except that he does. Um, let's try 1B. Get back here. I'm not done with you yet. 1B. He still makes noise. Um... I highly doubt that was capitalized. Um, let me try another tag, since the silent tag doesn't want to work. Let's give him a custom name. Your custom name is going to be Test Dalek. And there we go. It is now has a custom name, which is 1984 Supreme Remnigate Dalek, which is not the custom name that I just tried to give it. But as you can see, the Entity Data command is targeting the Dalek, is selecting him, and is trying to give him a custom name, even though that is not working. Okay, Dalek, get out of here. Stop trying to go line through a window. Now let's turn him into a statue so that he doesn't run away on us. So let's say no AI, colon one. Urgh. Come on, Dalek, get, get back. Go! Come on! Go! Get back a little bit. There we go. Now, as you can see, he is no longer running towards that window. He has stopped. He is frozen. He is now a statue. So you can once again make Dalek statues with the Entity Data command, which is something that you haven't been able to do for a very long time. 
And just to show this command off one more time, let's say the rotation tag, and this is exciting because this was also something that was broken in Forge 1.8, but we can now rotate the dog to face any direction that we want him to, which is really exciting. So let's just turn him to say 105 degrees, 105.0F, comma, I don't know, let's say 45.0F and negative 45.0F, just because I feel like it. And as you can now, that shouldn't have the quotes in here. Let me get rid of that and set this tag up properly. Sorry about that, guys. That's the proper way to set up this command with the square brackets like that. As you can see, he is now looking down. His body has rotated into another direction. And all of that good stuff, the rotation tag is now working, which is awesome. And if I want to, I can turn him to face into another direction, let's say 10 degrees. Now his body is facing another way. He is looking down. Let's make him look up, for instance. It might be this one. There we go. Now he's looking up. So as you can see, the entity data tag is the entity data command is now working. The rotation tags are working. This is excellent. And there are plenty of things that you guys can actually do with this. You could hook it up to command blocks. You have uh, dogs that kind of walk around and change directions and everything. Kind of like what you see mobs do on adventure maps. You can finally do this once again with the Dalek mod. Um, you can control them with command blocks, you can target them with command blocks. There are all kinds of things that you can now do now that the entity data command is possible. And I hope in the future to make some more videos just to show off some of these things that we can actually do. And there are so many plans that I had, you know, two years ago when this, when I was first fiddling around with commands with the Dalek mod and that, that I could not do without the entity, entity data command. I'm going to try to dig up some of my old ideas and see if I can't show them off or even improve them now since we're in 1.12 and there are so many more things that are possible in Minecraft in general that we can apply to the Dalek mod. So hopefully when I have time there will be a bunch of new videos that I can finally make to show off for all of you guys now that this one thing is possible, the entity data command can once again be used. So this was just a video to inform you guys about the entity data command and to show that off and I hope you guys enjoyed it. So let me set things back to daytime here. There we go, and I want to just have say a thing or two about making videos and that, so I know I have not uploaded a video for a couple of weeks now. I'm really sorry. I had uh, finals, and that's all over and done with now, but I kind of have to work and everything, so I'm trying to find some free time to make videos and that. I still plan on making an Update 47 video, a scripted one, and I have stuff in the works for that, but I really haven't been uh, building anything because with the buggy versions of the mod that we have, I don't want to create a world and start any major builds in it where it could crash and I could potentially never get that world back because the of the buggy features of the mod and that could completely destroy that world, which is why I've been hesitant to actually build anything or start anything for the update video. So it's going to be a week or two before I'll be able to release the update video after update 47 comes out. I want to apologize for that, but I just haven't really wanted to start building anything for that video until the mod was actually officially released with all of the bugs fixed. Also, I just want to take a quick moment to thank all of my subscribers. As of right now, I am almost at 500 subscribers. I'm up into the 490s or so, which is really awesome to have almost 500 subscribers. So I want to thank everybody who subscribed to me, and I do kind of have a video planned for 500 subscribers. It's kind of a bit of a different video, so I'm not sure if I'm going to do it or not. But I think it it's kind of different. It's unexpected. I think everybody might enjoy it. And I, I certainly hope you guys do, but if I do it, it might not be for another couple of weeks. So I'm hesitant to do it because I'm really close to 500 subscribers right now. So I'm not 100% sure I might come choose to do something else for a subscriber special, but I do have um, the works of a plan for a video like that in the near future as well. So after that, um, I will probably be releasing videos more slowly than in the past, um, maybe once every couple of weeks or so. Maybe a bit longer than that between videos, hopefully not, but I'm going to see what I can do for all of you guys. And thank you for all of your support, for all of your support and for all of your kind comments and everything else, guys. So once again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, to sum it up, you can once again use the Entity Data Command on any Dalek Mod mob in the Dalek Mod in 1.12 as of Update 47, which is really exciting. And also, I have some videos planned in the future, including that Update 47 video which may come out hopefully within the next couple of weeks. So thank you as always for watching, guys, 
and I will see you all in the next video, but until then, goodbye for now.